everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, big day. We got the front and rear ARB diff covers in. We're gonna put them in. I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step how to's, which there's a lot of information if you go to a lot of different videos. We're gonna to try to get everything into one. I got the birds chirping outside. I got Molly sitting out here soaking up some sunlight and uh, yeah, we're gonna get right into it. The gear oil that you're gonna use. I'm choosing 7590. I like Royal Purple. I like the brand. I like the lubricity of the oil and how it helps keep everything super smooth. So we're gonna go with that. We're gonna have our brick cleaner. Uh, wanna make sure that we clean out the diff really well. We're gonna get some gloves. We're gonna separate our bolts because with ARB, you get the long bolts which go to the deeper side and then you get the narrow bolts or the shorter bolts rather that are gonna go to the top and the bottom. This is your famous magnet that you're gonna get for your drain plug. And then if you flip it over, you can see that we have a stick here with a magnet on the bottom as well. So that way we have two points to catch any kind of metals that get floating around in here. This is gonna be our dipstick to show us what levels we're gonna get into. I'm gonna show you how to mark that and how to figure that out. We're gonna get a socket wrench with a 10 mil. We're gonna get a torque wrench so that we can torque the diff covers when we put them back on. We're gonna get a razor blade in case there's any gasket material left. You're gonna need a size eight and a size six mil um, hex key. And uh, you're gonna need some rags or paper towels. I prefer rags because I like to reuse things, try not to throw away as much as I can. And uh, we're gonna use this guy because, well, I don't like to sit there and wrench for hours. We've got our oil pan, because when we get the oil, the old oil put in, we're gonna take it to the reuse center and they're gonna recycle that oil for us. Other than that, we're gonna get underneath the Jeep, get started. Gonna get underneath here. Got my rag, I'm gonna put it up here. By the way, we're starting on the rear. Um, now, a couple of things to note. A lot of people say that, I've heard people on YouTube say these don't have drains. There's a drain right here, actually right in front of the rear diff. Pop that plug out, oil comes out. Instead of taking that out and removing the factory seal on that, we're gonna leave it in, and we're just gonna take these bolts out for, well, obvious reasons. So, we're gonna put our extension on, and let's just get to removing this thing and get the lower bolts off first. The reason we're using this and not the impact right off the hop is I don't want to mess up the threads going into this thing at all. So just take our time. Keep in mind you're really not going to be keeping this lid so it doesn't really matter if it gets scratched or whatever unless you're trying to give it to a buddy that maybe messed up his rig and doesn't want a fancy ARV cover. Okay, so loosen them all up and get the Milwaukee here and take them off now. Okay, so all I'm doing is taking all the bolts off the bottom halfway up and just loosening the top bolts to give that gasket some relief pressure, that's it. Let's let this oil drain out and we'll inspect it. Okay, so as you can see, the color of the oil was really nice. The, uh, the Jeep's only got about 7,000 kilometers on it, so it's not got very much, but we wanted to change this out. Uh, I have no desire to bang up this diff cover and get the gears all messed up. Plus, I've been worrying about torsional rigidity. The um, just don't want the actual tubes to have any flex in them. And if I can get that from the ARB diff covers, which they say you can, uh, it adds strength to the actual differential. Um, that that's awesome. So I think it's well worth the money. And uh, not only that, it, it's it's a lot easier for maintenance and looks pretty cool. So yeah, that works out well. Okay, so we're on the last bolt here. What we want to do is, there we go, keep that bad boy out of there, take this off, 
and we want to inspect the magnet that's on this and with such few miles I can't see it actually having anything wrong with it but we're going to inspect it nonetheless we also want to check out our differential and uh, make sure we don't see any metal shavings in there so let's give it a look Okay, that looks fine. Then we want to look at this bad boy as well. No metal shavings on that at all. Okay, so everything looks pretty good. We're going to take the gasket off. We're going to take the differential covering off the factory. Take it up there, we're gonna clean it out and uh, inspect it again just to make sure. And uh, after this, we're going to simply put the old new one on, tighten it up and uh, move on to the front. It's a pretty easy system. Okay, so we got the factory seal off. Next thing we wanna do is inspect the diff. I noticed immediately some dirt from where we took the bolts off, some dirt up here from off-roading and all that. So we just wanna spray some brake cleaner in here and flush out all that stuff we want to flush out all the old oil and we want to flush out any dirt that would have fallen in it and you know what brake cleaner super cheap so go hard that's what i say why not get all this stuff out of there that way you don't have to worry about it in the future because the smallest bits can add up over time and cause some problems so Reach up in there if you need to. Just rub it in, making sure you get all the old stuff out. We're gonna come down here with a razor blade and I'm gonna use that razor blade I showed you guys earlier and clean this off. Now, I would like to see if we can reuse this seal because quite frankly, there's no need to spend money on a new seal or using the um, gasket sealer if we don't have to if we can reuse the stuff that it came with let's try to do that okay so we got our differentials here we got the old differential we got the new differential the old one the only reason we're still looking at it is because of the whole the oil fill line normally when you fill up your differential you fill it up to the actual plug when the differential fluid comes out it's full we have to mark our stick here because there's no way to do that on the new differential so what i'm going to use is a straight piece of wood also known as a hockey stick for us canadians so we'll grab that, grab that. Now it's it's level. So we want to grab our trusty square that we use for a lot of stuff. And there it is. So now all I've got to do is keep this line right here. Mark my stick with a piece of graphite or whatever you're into. You can cut it if you want. And that is it. That's how you find your new level on your differential cover. Uh, with your ARB. It's pretty straightforward. Just find two things that are straight in your garage and a pencil. Okay, so next up we're going to grab our drain plug, which where the heck it is? <laughs> right here. We're gonna go ahead and put our drain plug in now. Uh, damn, that's a good magnet. Arr. Stick your drain plug in now, because obviously if you put it on and Put oil in and you don't have a drain plug on it would just be kind of silly so get that started I'm gonna go with your 8 mil put it on there you're just gonna cinch it up you're not gonna reef it on once it's tight give it a little bit of a, a turn that's it pretty straightforward now I've checked my old factory gasket it's actually in really good order all the veins are still on I have no problems with that at all. I've cleaned it off and uh, yeah, we're going to put that right back on in the factory spots. We're going to grab all of our bolts and then we're going to go back down, put it on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put our factory gasket back on. Like I said, we want to reuse it if we can. Lined up the bolt holes. I'm going to shoot it through the two bars. Uh, because of how thick this is, I find that it's easier to go that way make sure we don't damage the gasket at all and then grab a bolt and start bolting it in alrighty 
Now we're going to do that to small ones. Remember, go on top, bottom, large ones, go on the sides. So far, this has been super easy, and it should be super easy. Uh, the only thing we've got to do now is we've got to torque all these down to 25.4 foot-pounds of torque. So we're going to grab, um, like I said earlier, it's supposed to be a 6 mil for all of these, an 8 mil for the drain plug, and also for the cap. But uh, if you don't have that for your torque wrench like me, I've searched everywhere and I don't want to make a run to the store, a T40 torque head will actually fit in there really well. And here's hoping that it doesn't damage it because we're going to try one or two bolts and see how it works. Again, I'm not going to do a loop pattern. I'm going to do as much of a star pattern as I can to keep the plate bolting on uh, evenly and even, even snugness, if you will, with the gasket. I'm going to take the filler cap off. Uh, if I can remember which way Titan loops is. <laughs> and fill it up so the nice thing about this stuff is when you take off your cap you cut off your lid put your finger upside down put it there and you can literally just let it fill up like that normally you got to come in from the side and get some kind of a pump or a funnel it's just a lot of work that's a super nice little thing they did with ARB they made it so easy to fill up drain and ensure that if you do have something funky going on, you can constantly check your metal, or your magnet rather, and make sure that uh, you catch it early. All right, well, we're gonna fill this up, got it all torqued up. We're gonna move on to the front, do the exact same thing we did back here to the front. Okay, so I forgot, I told you guys I would show you everything. Um, when I wrote this with the carbon, or the pencil, however you want to look at it. Uh, came up with a measurement. Forgot to show you guys that. I know I told you we we're gonna show you everything. So, put the magnet to the bottom of the tape measure and it came up to one and a sixteenth. So if you're wondering what the depth is on a JL or JT Jeep, that is the depth that I came up with for uh, my ARB covers. Keep in mind, this is just for the ARB dipstick. It's not for any other brand. Um, I just wanted to show you guys every single piece and part of putting these things in and putting them together. Okay, so good thing to know. Lift your Jeep up on the driver's side front tire and uh, it'll crank that sucker up so you can get to them bolts that you need. That way you don't have to be all upset because you can't find your stupid 10 mil socket. Yeah, well, this fluid looks pretty good so far. Which I'm surprised. Which I'm kind of surprised because the other day we had it sunk in pretty good in the river. And uh, I don't have my uh, my breather tubes for my diff up where they should be yet. That's That's coming up next. Well, after the lift, of course. Okay, so that's all the bolts. Let's give this thing just a little look. Jesus. Or do that and it splatters all over the place. Ah, okay. So let's let that drain out. Let's go get our rags and uh, really gotta clean up my floor afterwards. Do a quick inspection. Always. Okay, there's nothing on the magnet. It's a good sign and we'll go take a peek in here absolutely nothing as well so super happy right now okay let's take this bad boy off clean it up see if we can reuse it if we can awesome if we can't moving on in life but it's always better to reuse if you can Got enough problems going on in the world We'll need to add to more trash to add the problems. Okay, that gasket looked a little suspect when I was taking it off, but it turned out to be pretty good. So, let's get the flashlight on here. Flush this bad boy out. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna scrape up the edges, finish flushing it out, new lid on, time for a beer. Okay guys, that's a wrap. ARB diff covers, front and rear, are installed. Remember, tools, super easy. You need a torque wrench, 25, 24.5 foot-pounds of torque on the bolts, around the perimeter. You need a six mil and an eight mil hex key to tighten up. Six mil for the outer ring, eight mil for the drain and the fill cap, okay? Uh, for me, I found that I ran two of these per diff and it seemed to fill it up pretty good. I'm gonna run it for a little while, come back, check it again, and add or reduce if I have to. But uh, yeah, I think two of these, uh, 75, 90 is what I ran from Royal Purple. Really like the brand. Um, obviously, this is what's going in the engine for the oil change coming up. Uh, other than that, let's see. We did 10 mil for the factory bolts, these guys. You're going to need a razor blade to clean the gasket off. Uh, if your gasket is worn out at all, replace it. I was lucky. Mine stuck on the front a little bit, but then I checked the veins. All the veins were perfectly fine. It just needed a little loving to get off. Uh, clean the gaskets off really well. I used brake cleaner and then I lubed them up with oil afterwards. Seems to work really good. Cleans them up really nicely. Uh, what else? Uh, we talked about the 10 mil. We talked about the torque setting. Um, yeah, other than that, that little trick of lifting the front uh, driver's side tire will actually get the steering arm up or lower the steering arm so you can actually get to the top cover bolts on the front of the front diff was a really good idea. The level on the, that's another thing we forgot, the differential fluid level was surprisingly enough pretty close to the exact same on the front as it was the back. It was actually just a hair lower than the back. Don't know why, but it worked out that way. But uh, other than that, that's it. I'm gonna bottle up this old oil, take it over to the recycling center, and uh, hopefully they'll find some way to turn that into some new oil. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching. We appreciate you guys sticking around. And uh, if you have stuck around this long, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, because we have the metal cloak lift coming. I've got the entire lift kit. I've had it for a while, but a spring fell out in shipment. FedEx was like, oh well. And I was like, Corona can't get these things anymore. So they had to make another spring to send out to me. So the guys and gals at Metal Cloak have been taking super good care of me, uh, super nice people. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be our next video. So again, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you guys next time.